Hello again, my name is Usir Amin, um, and now I will be showing you how to do Google Fusion Tables. Um, so in this tutorial, I'll be helping you create a Google Fusion Table. The benefit of a Google Fusion Table um, is basically you can take the data in a chart, similar to the data that we have here, and we can input it into the Google Maps so that they can be pinpointed. Um, so let's get started. So here we have our data, similar to that of the data in the previous slot, in the previous videos. Um, but we are going to need, in this situation, um, specific data. We need our street address, our city, our state, and our postal code are most important. Um, so what I'm going to do, the columns that are not necessary, I'm just going to simply delete. So now, as I delete these columns, delete these entire columns. So now we've deleted all of the excess columns and we're left the street with the street address, city, state, and postal code. So now what you're going to have to do is we're going to do something called concatenating. Um, concatenating basically is taking all of the information in, that we find in these different sales, cells and putting it into one. So I'm going to give this cell, this column rather, a header just call it street addresses. So what you're going to do, let me make this wider since the street address will be large. I've got to center this. Okay, so what, now what we're going to do is press an equal sign and then we'll see it come up here it says most recently used concatenate so we're going to press that so what you're going to do you'll click the cell the cell number will come up you'll press a comma two colon two a colon mark i'm sorry quotation mark space quotation mark comma and then press the next cell B3, comma, quotation mark, space, quotation mark, comma, next cell, C3, comma, quotation mark, space, quotation mark, comma, and then D3. And since that's your final, uh, your final cell, you press enter, and here we have it. It has been concatenated. So what you're going to want to do, because we need the rest of the information in this cell, and this data chart to be concatenated, you're just going to click and drag. And there you have it. We've now concatenated all of the information in this cell. So now what we're going to do is you're going to open your internet browser. Um, I've already gone to it, but what you're going to want to do, uh, just for effect's sake, you're going to want to go to your Google Drive. So, once you're in your Google Drive, you're going to want to now, you may already have a Fusion Table tab. If not, you're going to want to go to the uh, Add More, Connect More Apps and, and search for Fusion Tables. But see, I've already downloaded Fusion Tables, so I'm going to click Fusion Tables. Hmm. 
and now it's loading. So I'm going to go to Google Spreadsheets. And I'm going to click extra credit data. Select it, check it. And click select. And so then it will process the information. And here we have the contents of the data spreadsheet. You can look through it to make sure everything's there. And then you click Next. And the table name, extra credit data, let's name, rename it Fusion Table Extra Data Sheet. Okay, so we've got that done, and then we'll click Finish. And here, it's pulled up all of the information. So now, similar to how we had to do in the other Excel sheet, we have to filter the information. So we're going to go over here, go to Street Address, and we're going to Change. And where it says Type, we're not looking for text type, we're looking for Location. You click Location. Make sure everything else is correct, longitude, latitude, and then save your changes. Be sure to save your changes. And now that you've done that, you're going to want to click File, Geocode. Begin geocoding. So now here in the geocode, what Google Maps is doing is essentially creating the longitude and longitude coordinates of the points that you've entered so that it can place them on a map. And now it's fully geocoded. So here, what you're going to want to do, the small addition sign at the top in the red, you're going to click that, and you're going to click Add Map. And now Google is populating the map with your geocoded locations. And here it is. Now what you're going to want to do is zoom into the map to make sure that all of the locations are accurate. And here you have a fusion table. What you're also going to want to do, <clears throat> it's a matter of personal style and preference, but it also helps to filter the locations. We're going to use buckets. Buckets, the benefit of buckets is that we can use them to distinguish different ranges. So let's do four buckets with these colors. Hmm, I'm a blue kind of guy. Let's do large blue, like red, maybe a purple, and a green. Now, make sure that your ranges are up to your standard. These are up to my standard. And I'm going to click Use This Range. And then I'm going to click Save. And there you have it. And then my populations 
are easy to subdivide and filter through based upon the ranges that we selected. So just recapping on what we did, we concatenated the information that we had in the charts before. We went to Google Maps, we went to the Google Drive, we created a Google Fusion Table, and we inputted these data and locations into the Fusion Table to map them. As easy as that. And there you have Google Fusion Tables.